is a two out of three balls match. Same thing? Oh! We don't have a definitive tag team champion right now because the last match ended in such a debacle that the office decided that we had to vacate the titles. And the Bottle Cap boys are in heavy duress under the wrestling prodigies before the match even starts. Think about how frustrated you would be. A defending champion losing your title in such an uncertain way. I would jump the gun too. Good reversal. Big forearm to TJ Johnson. That's what happens when you let go of a hold. Two out of three falls. That means you have to win at least two. Kick right to the throat. Uh oh, wait a second. Wait. Chad Carson just slid a chair into the ring. Oh! Right to the stomach. That's a disqualification. The first fall, the first, first fall goes to the wrestling prodigies via disqualification. The rest, why would, the wrestling prodigies are already up one point. I don't know what the Bottle Cap boys are doing. Oh, as Jay Malachi comes in and just delivers a flurry of offense to both Bottle Cap boys. But Jackson Drake is fat. Look, he's still hurt. He is still hurt right now. Oh, he's gone. It, Think about it. it he, he probably can't breathe. It right might now. be two on one right now. It might be two on one for the rest of the contest. It's actually really smart when you think about it. The Bottle Cap boys have effectively made this a handicap match up to this point. Oh! Jay Malachi finds himself unceremoniously dipped to the outside. Jackson Drake's in trouble. Oh! Oh, we did, there's the first. We're now at one and one in not even two minutes of the match. What a strategy by the Bottle Cat Boys. It is now one and one, and the wrestling prodigies are basically almost down a man. I'm not trying to doubt the fight in Jackson Drake. I'm not trying to doubt his abilities, but you have to look at the facts. He just took the rim of a steel chair to the gut and then landed on it again. When most of your offense is cardio-based flips and movement like that, now you're limited. And don't be fooled by the, the, the suave khakis of TJ Johnson. TJ Johnson's one of the most vicious people I have ever seen here in the Premier Wrestling Federation. 
His Chad offense is just punishing. Chad Carson looking to be a little busted open at the nose already. Stop so checking himself up just like that. He oh. is busted at the nose. Look at that. That is a result of just the fight. Jackson Drake has not got back to his feet since he ate that chair shot right to the face off that moonsault. And the Bottle Cap boys are going to work on the injured Jackson Drake at this point as he just tries to get him off him. Think about oh, it. Oh, no, but there's still plenty of fight left. It looks like Jackson Drake might start to collect himself. You want to talk about fighting this kid, Jackson Drake? It wasn't but a couple years ago oh! that he was hit by a car. Came back and started right back where he left off. He and now lost you are seeing it. teeth in back-to-back -back events here in here. the Premier Wrestling Right Federation. here. One of the toughest tag teams around. And Beautiful Jay Malachi line. is on fire. Here he comes. Letting his opponent get the much needed rest he needs on the apron. Big stop. Jay Malachi takes on both Bottle Cap boys. Look at the aggression of Jay Malachi. Ducks the kick, catches the kick, eats oh. the kick, eats oh. the other kick. Right to the ribs, though. Looks like TJ Johnson's trying to catch his breath after getting kicked in the ribs like that. Setting up for the 619, or whatever. We're in 252 right now. Okay. Springboard oh, line, beautiful. He cleared the whole ring. Coast to two. Coast. Oh, TJ Johnson able to get that outside shoulder up. TJ thought that he could get away by going back to his corner, but you know what? Do not, do not lose faith in the leaping ability of Malik. He could have jumped out of the ring from there. At he could have dove onto Chad Carson. Yeah. He's like two feet away. Now the Bottle Cap boys find themselves in a precarious situation as Jay Malachi is fired up and is firing on all cylinders. Off the ropes goes Malachi. Oh! oh! Chad Carson pulling the rope, preventing Jay Malachi from being able to springboard, sending him right out to the floor. Uh-oh, Jackson Drake has caught his breath. Oh! Beautiful German and working straight on the back. He is pissed, as he should be. TJ Johnson doing his best to cover up the watch, the back of the head, making sure he can still defend himself. He's Sean Pittman. Oh, just stomping through the chest of TJ Johnson. Both the wrestling prodigies, I believe, are both under the age of 18, and they already have a few years' experience over the Bottle Cap Boys. They've been doing this from a very young age, and don't doubt them. I mean, look at the physiques on these kids. It doesn't matter their age. They look great. Spike pile driver! And that is why they're able to do moves like that. Look at TJ Johnson's face. He looks absolutely on Dream Street right now. Dream Street. How did he kick out? He's tenacious. He's tenacious. He's vicious. TJ Johnson is a scrapper. Don't be fooled by the pleats. The crowd getting behind Jackson Drake as he ascends to the top. Oh, Chad Carson looking to interrupt again. Chad Carson just keeps interrupting. But you know what? When it's tied like this and the plan's not going as you thought it would, what other option you got? Oh, no! Oh, home! Beautiful Phoenix Splash, but unfortunately it did not connect. Oh! Curve stop! Look at the awkwardness that he landed on that neck like that. Get out! Get out! He has to make sure he... That is a tag under Lucha Lou rules. If TJ Johnson was already out of the ring, the Bottle Cap Boys might already be our new tag team champions. This is where the experience gap comes Absolutely. into play. Absolutely. I guarantee you the next time they have a tag match, that will not happen. Again, you see the blood coming from Chad Carson's nose. You can't imagine that he enjoys that sensation, and he's looking to take it out on his opponents at this point. As Jackson Drake shoves and just creates some space, Tag, oh, tag to Cap Malachi, excuse me. O'Connell roll. Uh-oh, keeps him going. Oh! Carson's in, oh! Beautiful dive! Oh! 450 sneaks yes. to the face! One, two! Oh, Dolly, a two count! The knees to the face of Chad Carson after that 450 splash. How did Chad Carson kick out? Chad Carson's nose might be broken right now. 
If it wasn't before, it probably is now. <laughs> Luckily, we have a medic on staff right yes. here in the Carolina Wrestling Academy. Amazing medical team that has taken care of me many times. Jackson Drake. Jay Malachi instructing Jackson Drake to go back up top. I think I would tag Malachi. If it's me, I think I'd tag oh, Malachi. Malachi trying to get the crowd behind his partner. Oh, oh, getting, oh! His neck getting hung up on the ropes. If he wasn't winded from the chair to the gut, he is definitely winded now. He landed awkwardly not only on the top rope, but he landed awkwardly on the apron as the Bottle Cat Boy celebrating a little too soon, but nobody home for the as Malachi. Oh. Yeah. Is that what it that is good. So much time. Senior yes. official Sean Pittman Big making slap. sure the Bottle Cap boys have till at least five. Oh! Big super kick. Now Chad Carson has to get out of the ring. Canadian Destroyer! He broke the count. He broke the count. He broke the count. Followed by a famous sir. Followed up by a beautiful DDT. Oh! And the necks of the wrestling prodigies have to be absolutely compressed right now. Is this it? Two. Oh! Jackson Drake makes the save. He learned from last time. It doesn't, you don't have to flip to break up a pin. You <laughs> yeah. just dart in and break it up. Literally put your hand on the opponent, breaks the pin in combination. As all four men are down, and Bogue North Carolina is getting behind these two tag team contenders. Jackson Drake delivers Chad Carson unceremoniously on the floor. I think he might be knocked out. His head slammed on the concrete like that. Oh, huge there's that ferocity. Look, Look at, at that the aggression. tenacity and the viciousness of Johnson. Oh! oh! He liked it. He loved it. And he gave him some more of it. Jackson Drake getting Malachi. Literally placing his opponent on the top rope. He said, here's what we're doing. One, two, new ch oh. oh, almost new champs. Oh! Oh! Big kick almost knocking TJ out of the ring. TJ's out on his feet right now, trying to get above his head above water. Malakana! Cover! One, two, three! New champs! The wrestling prodigies have re regained the PWF Tag Team Championships. The PWF Tag Team Championships are back around the waist of the wrestling prodigies. Let's talk about two -time that two-time champs. That huge leap coast to coast to hit the Malakutter. The precision, the intensity, it was just enough to bring the gold back around these waists. Listen, folks, they it is not just a clever name to call them the wrestling prodigies for the age they are, for the experience level they have. They are the one of the absolute best tag teams and all of professional wrestling and the future is so bright and they're already tag team champions. Already, two times.